Hey, good day all. In this video, we are going to see how to design a 3-bit up counter using T flip flops. So, to design the counter using T flip flops, we should be aware of the truth table and excitation table of T flip flop. So, we know the truth table of T flip flop is the output will be the same state if the T is given with the input of 0. The output will be the complement of the previous state if the input to the T flip flop is 1. So, based on this uh, truth table, we can derive the excitation table and uh, in the excitation table, what is the requirement is if the previous state is 0 and if we want the same state as the next state, then what is the input to be given? So, if I do not want to change the state, then the input to be given is 0. So, I need to use 0. In the second thing, the 0 is changing to 1. So, I want to change the previous state. So, what input I need to give? I need to give 1 as the input to complement the previous state. So, the input to be given is 1. So, thus the excitation table of T flip flop is created like this. So, after creating, uh, understanding the truth table and excitation table, let us start our design of 3 bit up counter. So, in this 3 bit up counter, what we are actually doing is, we are first want to generate what is the requirement. So, our requirement is generating the 3 bit up counter. So, I am uh, first writing the state table. So, state table gives our requirement. So, I want 3 bit up counter. So, let I uh, give you a name for 3 bits is A, B and C. So, I am having A of T, B of T and C of T. So, I am having 3 bits and 3 flip flops whose name are A, B, C. So, A, B, C are the 3 flip flops that we are going to use in our design. So, if there are 3 flip flops, we may get 8 different combinations such as starting from 0, 0, 0 to. So, for 3 inputs, we are having 8 combinations and just we fill out these combinations. Now, I am just going to list what is the next expected state for this 3 bit up counter. So, as we are designing 3 bit up counter, obviously if the previous state is 0, 0, 0, then at the next clock pulse, the state change should be one step up that it should be incremented. So, 0, 0, 0 should be incremented to 0, 0, 1. Similarly, if the previous count is 0, 0, 1, it should be incremented to 2. So, the equivalent of 2 is 0, 1, 0. So, if I see the binary equivalent of all these things, uh, what we will be uh, seeing here is, this is taking the value of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, if I want to increment 1, it should be changing to Similarly, if 2 is changing to 3, so this is actually the up counter. 3 is changing to 4, 4 is changing to 5 and 5 is changing to 6 and 6 is changing to 7 and 7 should be changed to 8 but if you write the equivalent for 8, it will be 1, 0, 0, 0. But we are designing only 3 bit up counter. So, we are just what we are doing is we are changing the 111 to reset condition so that the counter can start counting again. So, this is our requirement. So, for this requirement, if we want to use the T flip flop, I want to decide what should be the inputs to be given to these three flip flops. So, to achieve this, we have to look for the excitation table. So, to fill the first column, this TA column, I need to look on this A of T as well as A of T plus 1. So, these two columns should be looked up. So, if you refer the first value of these two columns, here A of T is 0, here A of T plus 1 is 0. So, 0 needs to change to 0. So, I need to pick up this particular Row. So, 0 needs to be changed to 0. So, the input to be given to T is 0. So, I need to fill 0 here. 
So coming to the second one, again here it is also 0, here it is also 0. So 0 has to be converted to 0. So the input to the T flip flop should be 0. So the easily what we can remember is if you want to change the state, then you have to give the input of 1. If you don't want to change the state, you need to fill it with 0. So this is a very simplest method in filling the inputs of TU, TB and TC for T flip flop. So if you apply this rule to fill the entire T flip flop, you will be getting like this. So fine, you will be getting like this. So if you see, these should be the inputs that to be given to the T flip flops. Once we find the inputs to be given to the T flip flops, we can derive the expression. So we now the next step is to derive the expression for the three inputs TA, TB and TC. And if we want to derive the equation for TA, then I am going to use a three variable K map which is the simplest method of obtaining the Boolean expression. So I am using a three variable K map where we are having three variables. One is A of T, another one is B of T, another one is C of T. So the three variables we have to consider these three variables as the input variables. So here if I fill the K map using this and the mean terms to be inserted will be like this. So I am just going to fill the values for TA. So for TA what we will be getting is we need to fill once for the min term 3 and 7. So I am just considering only this thing. So if I write an expression for TA, so the variables I need to consider is A, B and C and the expression is the min terms for this A, B, C is only 3 and 7. So for this I am just computing the drawing the K map and getting the equation. So I am filling 3, 7 here and if you group this 3 and 7, the expression for TA will be equal to B of T, C of T. Uh, for simplicity, you can also write as BC. So the expression will be BC. Similarly, if you want to derive the expression for TB, if you see uh, for TB, I am again trying to draw the similar K map. And if you want to fill the min term and grouping, then you will be going to get like this. So the thing will be, here I need to fill the min terms, here the TB, the TB expression for ABC will be sigma of 1, 3, 5 and 7. So it will be 1, 3, 5 and 7. So I am just filling 1, 3, 5 and 7 and if I group all this ones, the expression for TB will be equal to only C, C of T. So if you see for TC, so if you find for TC and if you try to fill the min terms based on the things here, what you will be getting for TC is for TC of ABC, if you see everything is 1. So sigma starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. One. So I am just filling everything as 1. So here all these 8 ones can be grouped. So the expression for this TC will be equal to 1. So once we are getting this expression, we can easily draw the circuit that is your design that I am going to need uh, 3 flip flops. So these are T flip, uh, 3 flip flops and they are T flip flops. So I am giving uh, the inputs for the flip flops and output is here. Uh, the output what we have mentioned here is A. So I am giving this is A of T. 
here it is b here it is c so we need not mention the uh, time parameter so we can mention the output a b c and we will be having a common clock so we are designing a synchronous circuit so all the clocks of each and every flip flop is tied to a central clock and what circuit we are actually designing is the expression for t a is b and c so actually what we need to do is this b and the c should be taken and given to and gate so that the output of and gate is given to so this is b into c so this is expression for t a for expression of t b what we need is we need to give only c so here t b should be given to c and for t c what we can give is we can give logic 1 directly that is you can connect plus vcc here so that it always gets higher and if you connect uh, to the output led or something so display um, or light you can visualize the three bit counter values and you are having many simulation softwares which in which we can implement the circuit and check the performance of how the counter is incrementing for each clock pulse.